Hey everyone, this is Prince Brightstar, and today I wanted to go over how to download and install Fantasy Star Universe Clementine, as well as how to register an account with the server. I do need to note that if any of this process doesn't work for you, I will need to direct you to the server owners themselves, as they are the ones that will be able to assist you with any issues. So first you're going to need to download the game client. You can head over to psu-clementine.net, and once this page loads up, you want to go over to the News and Information section. And you want to click on the Clementine Public Test Announcement. And you're going to scroll down to here. Uh, you can choose to either go through Mega or Google Drive. I'm going to go through Google Drive. Don't worry about the preview. Just go ahead and click Download. And don't worry about this either. Go ahead and click Download anyway. And this right here is the 7-zip file that's going to come down. You can either save the file or open it with whatever unzipping program you have. Uh, just make sure that that unzipping program does support 7-zip or else you're not going to be able to open it up. And if we open up the downloads here, as we can see, it's coming down for me. It is 5 gigabytes in size, so this may take you a little time to download this. Okay, I have unzipped the file, and as you can see, we have these four files right here. Just a quick note, this is a Windows-based game only. You want to double-click on the psuc-installer.exe file. And then it's going to ask you where you want to put this. And we can go ahead and create a desktop shortcut if we want to. Let's go ahead and click on Next. And then Install. At this point now, we just have to wait for the game to install. And just a quick note, some of these files can take a really long time for them to load. It may seem like the installation has stalled. Don't worry about it. The installer hasn't stalled. It's just a really large file that it's extracting. Okay, so now that the game is installed, there's still a couple of things that we need to do here. Go ahead and uncheck the Launch PSU Clementine box here. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and open up another Explorer window here. And you're going to go and click inside of it, and you're going to type percent sign, app, data, percent sign, and hit enter. And then you're going to click inside there. You're going to get rid of roaming, and you're going to type in local with a capital L, and then capital Sega. That then brings you to here, and you want to double click on Fantasy Star Universe Illuminous. And you want to double click on the PSU Illuminus.ini. Now, what we need to do inside of here is we need to change one of these options here in order for the text to display correctly. And we're going to go to Language Equals, delete the J, and type in AE, and then save the file and close it. Once that is finished, double click on PSU Clementine on your desktop and the game will begin patching to the latest version. If the patching process seems to be in a loop, go ahead and close out of the client, and you're going to come back over to the forms and click on the Clementine manual patch. Just click right here for the manual patch. And once again, you're going to open up with your unzipping program. And once you have the file open, you want to extract it directly into the new folder that was created during the installation process. And go ahead and overwrite all the files. With that done, you can go ahead and double click on PSU Clementine again. And before you proceed into anything else, I recommend going into the options. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you set your screen size as best as you can as well as set it to window mode. And the reason you want to do that is because when this game was developed, there was no such thing as a virtual full screen. So this is the closest thing that you'll be able to get. And if you try to play the game in full screen mode and then you alt tab out, that's going to cause the game to crash. So I highly recommend setting window mode at the very least. Once your options have been set, go ahead and click play and the game will begin to launch. Go ahead and press enter twice to launch into network mode. 
and this is where you're going to define what your PSU ID and password are. The way that you do this is you're going to choose the username that you want. So for this example, I'm just going to say YT demo. And then after that, you need to do underscore N. That tells the server that this is a brand new username that's being created. And then the password can be set to whatever you want it to be. Go ahead and say login. Hit enter. Choose server one. And if your firewall happens to give you any issues, go ahead and take care of that. And if all goes well, you'll get this message here saying that the account has been created. And now you can retry, this time removing the underscore N. And just make sure to type your password again. And if you get this window here, you have successfully gotten your account going. From here, you can go ahead and create your character. And at this point, I'm going to leave it to you in terms of what you want to do here. So thank you for joining me for this installation and account setup guide. This is Prince Brightstar signing off. I'll catch you next time.